in the in the perception app uh, device type called MVR network video recorder has been added. It, it's used to record the videos from the face capture camera or other IPC camera which is not facial recognition camera. So you can using this MVR to add other IPC to do the remote view and then we use a screw dry screws to fix the from the back if you do this you see a hole here you can use it there are four holes used to fix the HDD. We have fixed uh, the hard disk drive using four school drives and uh, we have closed uh, the MVR. Now we are ready to turn it on. Now let's look at the screen. I have some cameras already hooked up to the network. You see it automatically picks up some cameras. Let's forget it. We can exit. Right click your mouse, main menu. The password by default is blank. The password by default is blank, but I already put a password one, two, three, four, five, six. In your case, if you get a brand new, it's blank. See, it's automatically pick up some thing. Let's go to channel, okay, and uh, do a search. The network searching. So if you do this channel and search, it will search the camera on the network. It says no HDD, huh? Find some cameras. Let's go to storage. Why is no HDD? Maybe I didn't. Uh, alarm of no HDD. Maybe my HDD is not hook up, hooked up correctly. Okay, I'm going to stop here and uh, check my HDD. Okay, now I find why. I put a 5 watts 3 amp power supply. It should be 12 watts. I corrected the issue and uh, using the correct power supply. I don't know why I made that stupid mistake. Should be 12 watts power supply. Because once I using the 12 volts power supply, 3 amp power supply, I can immediately feel the hard disk drive is spinning. Here, let's go to storage. Here we go. Format.
okay go to channel and uh, search network It takes some time. Okay, let me remove, select the all because some camera automatically added. I want to delete them and then search network. In the searching mode, there are some thing called a smart and a protocol you can pick like onfi onfi camera or cloud c so cloud c is a uh, percept cam uh, cameras okay so i have two cameras here so you can pick onfi so if you use onfi you can use any ipc from other supplies other supplies if they're compatible with onfi cloud c are uh, all Percept cams, smart basic and uh, smart. So if I only search policy, for example, because all the cameras in my network right now supports cloud C. So two, if I click on fee, you see. And if you see Cloud C start with one, two, three, means it's a real Cloud C, see, nothing. So there is no on fee here. So if I do Cloud C, let me just pick all. So these cameras can be a uh, face recognition camera or regular non-AI cameras as long as it is support only or cloud C. For example, here I'm going to select all and add. Okay, try to connect or connect it. And the back, you can see I get a, these things. And uh, you can say if you want to record it, if you see a red thing like this, means it's recorded. And I can also trigger it, like here. I put alarm, motion, and I turn on and turn off. If I want to trigger a motion, like area for screen, and action items start alarm recording if i detect the alarm like this one to the second one to start alarm recording then you see the red the yellow one means it's motion detection enabled but it's also recording 724 continuous recording plus when it detect the motion detection it will record the motions okay so two recording mode operating simultaneously one is continuous recording always continuous recording the other one is when you get a motion you're going to save the motion recording clip like this and we can also add the device to the uh, perception app i'm going to look at that one now to perception app go to store here we see we already have one uh, face capture camera there and uh, now it's offline uh, let me turn it on oh now it's online as i point out and uh, for device we're going to add the nvr we click add nvr device type this is for 16 
channel. So we can have eight channel or 16 channel, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the device I have is eight channel. So you just from nine to 16, you will not have data there. So let's put a 16. Let's get to put the MVR. First floor or second floor, it doesn't really matter. Click next, scan QR code. Let's go to the back of the MVR. Okay. The device has already been registered. Means the device has been added to somebody else's account, which is true because I use this to do the demo and uh, I already added to my other account. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to delete it from my other account. Already have deleted the MVR from my other account. Let's go here. Add again, MVR. MVR. Down next. Scan QR code on the back. Yep. Yeah. Okay, the MVI is here, it's online. Play. It's going to ask me for the username and the password. So same as the one you put on the screen. One, two. By default, it's blank. Confirm. Wow. See, it's uh, you see, you got the same thing as the if you sit in front of the MVR. Connect, and then you if you click the playback. Real screen one. Well, there are too many of them, as I said. No playback yet. So you need to wait until this connect or become active. Now you got it. Uh, a dog. Settings. So if you click this, just switch between the 16 channels and uh, play back you see if you see this green thing means there is video there because i'm doing demo so i recorded it on and off see and i can go back to those video things see yeah and if you get a motion it's going to be some yellow flag there if you get a motion Recording. So we will let it run for some time and I come back later. So you can see the motion trigger. Okay. So this camera can be facial recognition camera or not facial recognition camera. Or the regular cameras. The second one. Play back. See the same thing, green means there is video. And if you see no video means I was shutting the DVR off and doing some other things. And if I click this, recording mode, all the recording, all the recording means no motion. But we clearly see a dog walking by. That means after, once the motion is triggered, it's going to, uh, wait for some time before you put a uh, put a video click 
So you can click this, see all those thing. Reboot disk capacities. Let's see what that oh yeah. So now we have face capture camera and MVR. How to add a regular non-AI camera. This has PoE, PoE connector. So we just need to use a PoE hub and connect it. Let's do that. So I got a PoE switch. So one side, the upper link connect to the router. Let's look at the other side of my router. So using a Ethernet cable, connect using an Ethernet cable, connect to my PoE upper link. And then I'm going to connect Ethernet cable. And the other side of my cable connect it directly to my camera. Now let's go to MVR. Channel, do a search. Because that particular IPC is from Perceptcam, so it has Cloud C. Let's do this. It takes some time because it's trying to discover all the cameras. Okay, see, I found another one. This has already been added to this. Okay, let me re remove everything and then do search. Oh. Because if it's classy camera, you see this junk. It's not a one, two, three, four means it didn't discover correctly. So I need to research it. See here, same one. So you got a correct cloud C ID. Okay. Oh, remove. Wow. Search. So I should have one, two, three, four, five. I should have five cameras on my network, including facial recognition camera and non-facial recognition camera. So I'm just... Okay, I have five. So or and add. So or take some time to add five. See, that camera is here. Oh, somebody is outside of my house. What a question! And detect his face. Okay, let's move the IPC. I just see it's, it's working. So we just show how to add a regular IPC to our MVR.